Hi, thanks very much for sending in your question, which was in the context of the market makers business model, how do the high volume 60 minute bars play out in the role of the market makers business model? Do we use these points as support or resistance zones? Very good question. Uh, let's go through this now. Now, you notice that I've got a, uh, a 45 uh, minute chart up here. It doesn't really matter what uh, time frame you put this on. We have this uh, function in Pat software. Up here you can see it says HV. If we click on this, this will highlight to us a previous um, day's most activity or where the beliefs were predominantly at on that particular day. Now, the use of this, of course, if we look at this first one today, this green line that has just come on, and I'll just uh, draw this up, highlight this so we can see this. Let's get this down here. So what we're looking at here is this high volume. And to get that, I clicked up on this button at the top here. So what we're looking at here is, let's get rid of that, um, is the high volume and how it's relative to what we want to be looking at for the, for the next day. Now let's just uh, click on this again and you'll see what happens is it puts another one on. So what we're looking at here is two lines and I'm going to just highlight these again for you. This one here is where the most activity took place during this previous day, which is from this period through here. And this one here we're looking at is relative to today. So this one could actually move. It could move up or it could move down depending on how the market develops. But of course, once they're set in like this one, then they are fixed. And then we can pay attention to these the following day. Now, you can see already that when the market starts to get into a move, how it reacts around these. You can see it's come back down here and it's uh, probed through a little bit here. Then it's actually made a push through here. Then it's come back down again. And now it's actually moving away from this line yesterday. So now let's move over and look at this a little bit deeper on the next one. Okay, now here on the next one you can see, so if you'd have been looking at this one um, on the 8th of December, which you should have been, you can see how this line here was set up and this was a fixed line. So going forward from here, this was fixed and in place. So you'd have seen this all the day forward. This would have been uh, visible on your screen. So while this is going on, this line is visible projecting forward. Okay. And what we can see is, of course, that the uh, the market uh, moves above here. Uh, first thing in the morning, comes back down, probes a little bit through here, and then drops down and gets underway. And then the market comes back up, which is something we often see. It'll come back up and challenge these lines. You can see what's happened. The market then comes back up, probes through into here, and then gets back in to its down move. Now, let's just go to another one and click on here. And you can see another one. You can see actually the fact there was a double one here. And this is very important when you get, you get two like this. You can see how it sandwiches in between the uh, belief bars. You can see here, definite uh, showing you what's going on here. And then you can see how it comes back up, probes into this area, and then falls away again. Okay, so this is very valuable information to have. And this is why we use these 60 minute high volumes. Now let's get in again and you can see again. So this one uh, here, you can see it, this one disappears off the off the chart. Now let me just show you what I mean by that. You can see how these all start, which is telling you that this is this is where the the, the high volume is relative to. Again, this one comes from this day and this one comes from this day. And of course, we can't see this one where this one comes from. So let's go back and uh, go a little bit. Let's just zoom in a little bit. OK, so you can see there now we can move in and if we just call that up, you can see this is where it started from. And you can see then how the next day the market then comes back up. So if you were looking at this market, for example, on this particular day here um, where we are here, uh, you've got this line projected forward and you're looking for how the market reacts. So you know this line's here, you know, uh, you're expecting the market once it comes back up, you know that something is going to happen around this this. Uh, uh, level here once it hits here and you can see what happens is that we get the jump bar down out of there and then the market turns away down now you can see then it picks up the most of the volume at the end of the day picks up here market comes back up and has another probe at this before now getting in to its down move now let's just uh, just check on something here I want to have a quick look at the range of that move if we just oh, it's not going to let me move that now because uh, once I'm recording on Loom, it won't allow me to move these uh, three lines. But if we look at that, we can see that looks to me very much like. Now let's get over there. 
no can't move that now anyway i hope that gives you a, an idea of why, why we're using these um high volume uh, lines while we're looking for how the market reacts to them that can give you a tremendous insight in what is highly likely to happen to the market thereafter especially when you're looking at the long-term trend as your underlying basis let's say for taking your very next trade i hope that helps and uh, i'll catch up with you soon on the very next training video